Hey guys, it's me, Producer Ross, and welcome to the first ever episode of my FIFA 21 It's Rich Town career mode. It's my time to shine. It's time for Producer Ross to be in the hot seat as the Itch Rich Town manager. I hope you guys enjoy this series. This is my time to bring town back to the promised land, back to the Premier League. And of course, the end goal is to win the Premier League and maybe win the Champions League trophy. We'll try our best. Um, but yes, this career mode will be a realistic one. I'm going to try my best to, you know, keep it realistic because town won't be, you know, signing players for millions and millions of pounds because we don't have that sort of money. Um, so my goal is to bring through the Youth Academy and, and of course bring players through the lower leagues and maybe players that I know of who I feel like, yeah, they could possibly join town. Um, and of course, maybe bring in players from Holland, uh, bring in some Dutch imports because, you know, town have got history um, definitely in the glory years of having Dutch players. I um, mean, you know, likes of Arnold Muren, Fran Tyson, um, Martin Reusser. Uh, so my goal is to maybe bring in some Dutch players. But here we go, producer Ross, England's. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick little pause as I create my self on FIFA 21. I'll be back in a sec. So there we go. Me in FIFA 21. I think I've done an okay job. Got the hair, got the beard, and I like my outfit. A very casual looking manager. I'm going to be a laid back manager anyway. I'm going to, I'm going to be the cool guy. Uh, trying to be cool anyway. But yeah, I've got this nice maroon jacket. Um, these creamed trousers, casual trousers, and then of course got the white runners just in case I have to, you know, run and after the ball or something during a match. Um, but there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is me. Um, let's go in advance and let's see. Here we go. So yes, transfer budget isn't great for town. 2.3 million. So I said before, I won't be spending millions because I don't have any money in the bank. Um, of course I can sell some of our players and get some more money in the bank, but I'm going to try my best to be, you know, as realistic as possible. Let's go and jump in. This is the pre-season tournament invitations. We have uh, three here, of course. We've got the European International Cup. We've got the Champions Trophy. Um, and then we've got another Champions Trophy. They're both called Champions Trophies. Okay, sure, no problem. So I'm probably going to go with the European International Cup. Um, we've got Pooh FC, um, Clement. Uh, I can't pull out that team. Viking FK, Nancy. Um, and then Kaiser Luton, I think that's how you say it. Um, so yeah, we're going to probably go with the European International Cup. You know, I'll get more money for them. So let's jump in to the European International Cup. And um, that's what we're going to accept. So the goal for this first episode is, of course, to sort of sort everything out and then play our first pre-season game. Uh, of course, we've got some new features to look at. And here we go. It's just down a point, Ross, as new boss. Uh, let this load. See what I look like. I'm, I'm holding the shirt up. Yep, number one, Ross. I'm looking good. I'm looking good indeed. Happy days. A new future. A new era. Hashtag new era at Ipswich Town. Let's go right into the squad hub and let's take a look at the team that we have at our exposal this season. Uh, starting off in goal with Thomas Holy and David Cornell. I think two good goalkeepers for League One. I don't think I'm going to muck about and sign another goalkeeper this season because I don't need to. Because um, realistically, Town won't be signing another goalkeeper. So let's go into left back. And I have Stephen Ward and Miles Kenlock. Uh, Stephen Ward is going to be my first choice left back for this season. But this is the position I really want to improve in. And um, I will be looking to sign a left back in the future. But I think for this season, I'm happy with Stephen Ward and Miles Kenlock. Um, the problem with Stephen Ward is he's got a good overall but he will decrease because he's 34 years of age. And I think he turns 35 in July. So I'm going to have a 35-year-old at left back, which is not ideal. In real life, he's doing a job, but in the long term, he's not the future, is he? So I think for this season, he's okay. And I think Miles Kenlock is a good backup for League One. So that's what I'm going to have, really. Then centre-back-wise, I've got a good uh, a selection of centre-backs. So I've got James Wilson, Luke Chambers, Toto Nsiala, Luke Wolferden, Corey Andaba. And I've got Mark McGuinness, not Paddy McGuinness. I keep calling him Paddy McGuinness from Take Me Out. Don't know why. It's just stuck in my head. But yes, I've got him on loan from Arsenal for the season. Um, of course, my starting right uh, centre backs will be Luke Wolferden and Luke Chambers. Then right back, I have Janoy Donation and Kane Vincent Young. Um, I think that's decent to have that. I think Kane Vincent Young, of course, is my guaranteed starter. 
Um, I think right back wise, I don't think I'm going to improve that for a little while. I think I'm happy with both of these for the time being. Now midfield, um, I have a lot of midfielders, as you already know. Uh, Cole Skews, Flynn Downs, Emmy Hughes, John Nolan, Andre Lazell, Tristan Nydam, Teddy Bishop, Alan Judge, Armando Dobra, and I've got also got Idris El Mazzuni. So let's take a look at the forward line. And we have, of course, my boy Gwon Edwards as my starting right winger. Um, he will be backed up by Jack Lacaster. Um, I probably will be rotating these two players around. Um, Gwion can play left wing if needed. So I could play him there if I do have injuries with Freddie Sears. Because Freddie Sears is my only left winger that I have at the club. But I do have Alan Judge who can play there as well. But that isn't ideal. But once again, if it's an injury crisis or... You know, I want to bring him on as a sub. I'm happy to play Alan Judge on the left wing as a sub. Um, and as I said, I can put Gwion Edwards there. But that is a position I want to improve in. And I'm probably going to bring in a left winger. But, of course, I looked at my youth staff, a youth academy. And I have that um, Logan Sutton, I think his name was. I've got his name already, which is not good. But I can bring him as a left winger if needed. Then up front, I have Aaron Dronan, James Norwood, Ollie Hawkins and Caden Jackson. Um, I'm going to quickly just look at the financial thing. I want to see if anybody's got a re release clause because that can be a little, little tricky thing sometimes. So let's go and look at if they've got anybody's got a release clause. Oh, okay. So Andre Dezel has got a release clause of 1.9 million, which isn't ideal. But, um, but you know what? I think I may. Just going to check everybody else, see if uh, Kane Jackson's got one. No, he hasn't. So Andre Dezel. That is the first business I'm going to do. I'm going to offer Andre Lazell a new contract. So there he is. Now, Andre Lazell. I think he's going to be an important player for me. I think I'm going to play him a lot. He's still 21 years of age. Let's go important. Um, I think he will be an important player. So let's see what he says. Yes, he's happy with that. His agent's happy. Uh, let's see how many years. So... I want to give him a three years. I think I think three years is good for him. Um, he's got one year left, so I think that will add four years on his contract, I think. Or should I give him a four-year contract? Now, let's go three years. I don't want to get burnt, just in case he gets injured. Let's offer him three years. Yes, they're happy with that. Happy days. Release clause. They don't want a release clause. I don't want a release clause. So let's just get right into money talks. Now, his current wage is 1,900. Let's see what we're going to give him. So let's give him... I'm going to round up to 2,000. I'm happy to give him 2,000 wages. I don't think we need to muck about with that. Signing on bonus. Yeah, let's give him a bonus. Why not? Let's give him... Let's give him five grand. There we go. Hopefully he accepts that. They're happy with that. That's a reasonable offer. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Two grand wages for three years. Uh, five grand... Um, Bonus, which isn't probably much really, but it is what it is. But there we go. Andre Lazelle is here for another four years. Happy, happy days. Now, you may have seen in the squad hub that one player is missing um, in real life. Keenan Bennett's. Um, in my update, he hasn't been signed um, on here. So I'm going to need to do that myself. So let's sign Keenan Bennett's. Hopefully, he actually accepts the loan because sometimes teams who are in like the top flight of a, a league in a country, they don't accept it. Um, so we're going to scout him, but we are going to try to sign him straight away because I'm not going to muck about. Um, so hopefully he does accept it, but we're in League One. He may not want to play League One football. So let's go and approach to loan. And they're happy with that. We're agreed. Now we just got to hope Keenan Bennett accepts the loan. If not, then, uh, oh dear. So let's advance. And let's see if we get any messages early doors. So we've got a loan decline, which is not ideal. Um, Keenan Bennett has declined it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I don't know if I have to change the wages. Maybe I need to offer more wages. Um, or he's just not wanting to go to our club. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that for a little while. And then maybe later down. Maybe it's too early in the transfer window. Maybe he doesn't want to come this early um, so I may wait until August to see if I can get him on loan because in real life we didn't have him in pre-season we didn't have him in the early games so we're just going to wait on that so Luke Chambers has 
sent me a message. Greetings, boss. On behalf of the whole team, I wanted to welcome you to Itchwich Town. Now, his morale is content. So let's reply. The future is exciting. We've got plenty of work to do. Good to meet you too. So what should I say to Luke Chambers, the skipper? Um, the future is exciting. We've got plenty of work to do. We do have that. Good to meet you too. I'm going to say we've got plenty of work to do. And he's happy about that. Thanks. We've got a long season ahead of us, Luke. I'll be expecting nothing but the very best from you and the rest of the lads. So there we go. So what we're going to do is going to advance. And we have a rest day here. And we've got some more training, which we are going to... Oh, we've got a transfer offer for Luke Chambers, our skipper. That is a bit random. What is this team? I have no idea what this team is. What's, I don't know what that is. What is that team? I have no. I don't know where they're from. I don't know. 250k for Luke Chambers. For a 34 year old, that is decent money. But he's my skipper. And I cannot accept that. So, sorry. Whatever that team is, reject. That is random. That is the most random transfer offer ever. I understand maybe a League 2 club or League 1 club coming in for him. But... I don't even know what that team is. I'll have to Google that and see where they're from. So there we go. Uh, we're going to go to advance a bit more. We have a rest day. And then we have our first pre-season game against Clermont, the French team. So we have a loan offer for Dobra with an option to buy. So you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to reject this. And another team I've never heard of. I don't know what country this is from. But they want to buy them as well. But pff, I'm going to reject it because... I don't want to loan him to a team I don't know. Um, so, sorry about that. Reject. So, there we go. We've had, we've had two offers already for Luke Chambers and Dobra from teams. I have no idea who they are. But here we are. The first game against Clermont, the French outfit. So here we go, guys. Our first game. The new era of producer Ross has begun. This is a massive game for us. Hopefully, we will win this game. Um, we want to, of course, get off to a winning start. I uh, don't want to lose the first game. So hopefully we will score goals. Good play. Oh, he's in. Teddy Bishop is in. What a chance. Teddy Bishop. Oh, he scored. It's 1-0. Easy day. Six minutes in. Teddy Bishop does the chicken celebration. And you know what? 100 points, 100 goals. I know it's only pre-season, but that was easy. That was too easy. It's 1-0. All right, my boy Guion. Vincent Young. Oh, Guion. Guion. Norwood. Norwood's through. Norwood. It's two. Just under half an hour gone, and it's 2-0. And James Norwood is celebrating with the crowd. He's loving it. He loves it. Half time. 2-0. The first half of the Itchwich Town producer Ross era has done very well indeed. Here we go, second half underway. Uh, no changes at half time. I didn't really fancy doing any changes. I think I'm happy with 11 at the moment. I may do a few changes on the, the hour mark um, because, yeah, don't really need to do any changes. All right, Freddie Sears is in. That is an amazing ball from John Nolan. What can Sears do? He's going to cross it in. A boy, Guion's there. Dive hitter. Oh, what a goal. What a goal from my boy, Guion. It's 3-0. Clement are done. That is an amazing goal from my boy, Guion. What a cross this is from Freddie Sears. And my boy, Guion, Edwards with a diving header. Boom. 3-0. So there we go. The full-time whistle, a 3-0 win to open my account as the Itchwich Town manager. Producer Ross, there he is, shaking the hands with the Clement manager. And that is a very good win indeed. Um, he's not happy. He's not happy with the manager. Uh, but yeah, there we go. We're going to go into the news before we end today's video. Edward Bang's winner against Clement. Uh, and then fans happy as Ross wins first friendly. So... We've got the uh, hit the ground running after that win, so that's good indeed. But yes, hope you guys have enjoyed the first episode of Producer Ross FIFA 21 Itchwich Town Career Mode. Hope you've enjoyed it. What we're going to do is we're going to quickly advance and see if we get any more news before we get to our next pre-season game 
So there you have it, guys. The end of the first episode of my FIFA 21 It's Roots Town career mode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, the next episode, we're going to finish the pre-season tournament and we're also going to see if we can loan out some players and possibly even buy our first player. Um, so wait and see on that. But hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next video.